Well, hello everyone. It is Friday, July the 8th, 2021. I am Dell Delbridge, Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. This is your Status Chat. Now, Status Chat is just a video blog we do every Friday of whatever's in the news, whatever, whatever hits me in the right way. We've been working hard this week. Now, we attended, got a little more education uh, on uh, home warranties. Right now, people are not using them. They're going pretty quick, but there's some real benefits to them. If you have a little older property and you're a little nervous about some of the things, they but they have their limitations. It's always good to have a refresher to keep my mind working on that. Also, got an announcement. Maybe a little premature but just launched a website it's not fully baked i've kind of had some out there well i have had a website but i haven't had one quite like this the name is super hard to remember and uh, it's kind of kitschy but call dell to sell.com i know you'd think if i got an mba i'd be smart enough to come up with something smarter or sexier than called eldersell.com but there it is it, it's what it is and if you want to take an early look at it you can now i hope to get some additional customization i don't think it'll be ready for at least this next month but it is up and it is visible and you can you can kind of poke around and see we got some we got some listings out there for you to look at it's it's, it's up it's going we're always moving forward now Let's run this commercial that we have to do every week, keep uh, Tennessee Real Estate Commission happy and off my case. Let's get her done. Hello, I'm Dell Delbridge of Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. If you are currently unrepresented and would like to know how to compare up to three properties side by side and room by room, then go over to my new YouTube channel, Call Dell to Sell. That's one L and Dell, no spaces. Watch the demo on Real Scout, and then call me and we'll set up your exclusive ad-free account today. Now that we got her done, Let's talk about this little chart I got right here. Remember a couple weeks ago, people were pushing real hard. You better buy that house. You better do now because interest rates are going up. They're going up. You better lock in now. Lock in now. You better go now. And what I tell you is, well, I, I, they may go up, but I don't anticipate there'll be uh, Jimmy Carter era rates for a long, long time. We have an... A midterm coming up and I don't think they want I don't think they want to stall the economy that had a little bit of that going on people didn't like it there's a lot of unknowns the financial markets do not like unknowns they were talking about huge tax increases to make up for what they spent during the uh, Rona time and uh, people weren't liking it it was beginning to make that interest rate click up we will have inflation at some point in time you can bet your bottom dollar on that it is going to happen but i think we're going to hold the interest rates down and i think the central bank is going to do that at least till 2022 we have a little bit of time and I think people have calmed down a little bit. It is about the peak of, of season to buy. And so we're in great shape there. And we still have the same thing of these people coming in these blue states, the great migration to come into income tax free Tennessee. So we're still having to fight that. And they're coming in with their pockets loaded up with cash because the real estate, their economies are so expensive to live there. They see Tennessee and they say, I can't believe you can buy a house for $300,000. I can't believe I can buy, actually buy a piece of land that I don't have to actually have by rule butted up against my neighbor. You know, like, you know, some places are, are, are mandating townhouses. Uh, so they're coming here and they're happy campers. It's just tough for us to buy, but there's no reason to get excited. So we've looked at, we've looked at the interest chart. We see that it's come back down. We see that part of that's going, going to be attributed, I think, to this looks like the the big tax increases aren't going to go through there's not enough support for that and that kind of eases that kind of eases the the financial market's mind a little bit and we'll see if it reflects in today's numbers and we do have our numbers we had last week 7 to 21 we got 85 64 opportunities in the real scout system that was down over the previous period 45 92 under contracts still showing that was also down over the previous week but the ratio between the two had remained unsteady had remained steady at 54% from the previous week this week we have 
89.84 opportunities. That's going up. That's a pretty good jump. And 46.28, that's an increase as well, but it's not going up as much. And the ratio is 52% between those two numbers. And what I think is a good indication is not only are we seeing lumber prices come down and we're seeing people go back to work, but we see the interest rates uh, ticked back down in the proper direction. They're easing back down, but I haven't seen a 52% if my notepad is correct since February 26, 21. And we have a goal to shoot for next week because I believe it was a subsequent week of, of March that we hit 51% between those two numbers. Trying to get that under contract ratio uh, so it's under contract is much, much smaller and we have more opportunities and few of them are being held on to. So I think we've got some reason to be encouraged. I certainly have been working this week uh, trying to always stay on top of the game and sometimes I tell you, it, it's a job. But... Um, we appreciate you hanging around and watching us and sitting through our uh, Trek commercial that we got going on. And uh, have a great weekend.